Okay, we are on an adventure here this morning in that uh, we've got the truck and the horse trailer all hooked up. We have come over here to the medical offices where my wife works and uh, a certain somebody is going to get some treatment and that would be awesome. And Sweetheart, explain what we are doing here today and why we loaded up Awesome and brought him all the way over to your doctor offices. Well, Dr. Hansen will be meeting us here to draw blood. And, and Dr. Hansen is? Dr. Scott Hansen, our veterinarian. Veterinarian. And um, he's drawing the blood for us and then it will be put into a centrifuge spine and the pure rich platelets will come to the top. And those will be pipetted off, and they will be processed again. And then we'll take that home in a cooler and wait for Dr. Hansen to come back out this afternoon and inject them into his box. And that will help with inflammation, and it will heal those joints. Okay, so we got up this morning, loaded everybody up, and. Uh, we're actually glad that we're here because the truck would not start. For some reason, my block heater uh, didn't seem to be working last night, and we spent an extra uh, right at 30 minutes trying to get it started. So I'm just going to keep it running here for a while. Um, it should be fine. But uh, so anyway, we're just kind of glad that we're here because we almost had to call this off. So anyway, we will go through this process. We'll be bringing Awesome out here in just a little while for him to uh, get some blood drawn. And then we'll go through the process of this, um, of this PRP treatment that we're going to do. separate all the cells. Okay, so show, show me how you're taking the plasma off. Oh, is that all the stuff on the top? Just using a pipette, yeah. So this is the, at the bottom, this is the actual blood, okay. and the yellow stuff is the plasma. So that's the stuff that we want to keep. Awesome. So I have a question. If I spun around real fast in a centrifuge, would all of my blood separate? If you spun around like an actual person? Yeah. Before, actually before my head explodes? Oh or? my gosh, that would, be, that would probably be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say. Ooh, all right. Oh, goodness. All that's right, that's part two. Yeah, they, they Drawing off the plasma. Drawing off the plasma. And there's, um, one goes at 3,000 RPMs. So we'll spin that for 15 minutes and then which brings down more of the blood that might have got into the plasma, so it brings it down to the bottom also, to the end of that tube. I hope we can make sure I got it balanced. And that will spend for 15 minutes. All right, so the third process just ended. 15 minutes in another centrifuge. She will pipe that plasma back off of it once again to get the purest plasma possible. She will put that in some transport containers for us. We'll put it on ice and we will take it home. We will keep it cold until the vet comes back out later this afternoon and re-injects that. And we will pick up on that process later this afternoon but that's it for this part of it okay so we got all the procedures done as far as extracting the plate platelets from the plasma the whole PRP procedure and uh, they're putting that on ice right now 
we are going to get back in the truck and go home. And then uh, our vet will come back out later and uh, re-inject that back into Awesome's Hawks. All right. And after all this process, maybe my wife will buy me lunch. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. All right. We made it back home. We are going to get Mr. Awesome out of there. And we're going to put him back in his pasture. All right, buddy. Good job. I got it. Go back out and hang out with his buddy, Earl. Here comes Earl. Good job, awesome. Good job. All right, there's your buddies. There's Earl. All right, so when the doc gets here a little bit later, we will, um, I don't know, either do those injections out here or um, we'll bring him back in to the barn, whatever we decide we're going to do. All right, so that's it for now until we do the injections in a little while. All right, so it is now later in the afternoon, and um, Doc Hansen is now back here to uh, inject Awesome's Hawks with the plasma that we separated earlier this morning. And as you can see, Awesome is real excited about this. Actually, what happened is they just gave him a sedative, which is um, required for this procedure. And so he's going to get real sleepy. All right, Doc, what you doing right there? I'm passing the clippers back over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, we got a funny guy vet. All right, so that's where his injection sites are going to be, correct? Correct. All right. That's it. Now we're just waiting for Awesome to wake up. And <laughs> and he'll do that here in just a minute. All right, now tell me this. Why did uh, he have to be sedated for this procedure? Because it's very painful. And he has to be very still so that Dr. Hansen can get it in the joint right where it belongs. Okay. All right. Sounds good. You did good. Awesome. All right, buddy. And so in your estimate about how frequently would that have to happen? Well, um, we'll probably do 
do it again in six months and we'll see a huge improvement after the first time, but after the second time, he ought to be in really great shape. And then, so after a second time, will he have to have it done again? Uh, at most, yearly, but if it does what it's supposed to do, maybe every other year, every third year, because he was in such poor shape when I got him. So, we'll All right, so just like Betty, <laughs> Awesome didn't know what kind of home that he found. But he's going to have everything available to him. All right, awesome. You did good, buddy. Yeah, you did. Hang in there.